بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لاسٹ ٹائم وی ور ریڈنگ سورہ فاتحہ ورڈ بائی ورڈ میننگ سو ایف اینی ون ہیز اینی کوشچن ریگارڈنگ اٹ یو کین آسک می ناؤ سو ناؤ آئی ویل ٹیل یو ورڈ وی لرن ان سورہ فاتحہ سو Before we learn that, does anyone want to recite Surah Fatiha right now? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Recite it. First read Auz Billah, then start. Auz Billah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alam Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahman Okay, you better repeat after me Bismillahi Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Bismillahi Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim مالك يوم الدين مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم إهدنا الصراط المستقيم سراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين سراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Now last time I told all of you How will you do the homework for this? Let me tell you again. So first, you will open your Google Classroom. There you will join this class, Al-Quran al Karim, using this code. This is the code. Note this code. Use this code to join the Google Classroom. Then you will open the homework number one. Homework number one. So here you will read if you want. So after reading it, you will open it. So the first question is, what did you learn from Sule Fatiha? I will tell you the answer of this question. You can write the answer here, or you can write the answer on your notebook, or you can print the document and you can write the answer on it. So uh, note that answer and write it here. Also try to memorize that answer. Then you will write the meanings of, well, then you will write the translation of this I, I here. Then you will write the word by word meaning here. So last time I told you that you can type it directly here or you can also uh, print it or write it on your notebook wherever you want. Okay, after doing that, you can just turn in and it will be submitted. Then after doing this homework, you will go to this class, Hifzul Quran Al Karim again. You can join the class using this code. After joining it, you will uh, uh, first memorize Surah Fatiha. Then you will record your audio recitation. And again, what was it? अम्मी अंदर या बिंडा दस नहीं या बिंडा दस नहीं या so after memorizing it you will record your audio and you will submit it in this Google Classroom in homework number one of Hifzul Quran Al Karim so you will submit a recitation of your audio here. Then the question, what did you learn from Surah Fatiha? So I will tell you, note it 
and because you will write it in the homework number one so first thing that you learn in surah fatih is this that before doing anything say bismillah okay this is the example uh, this is the first point that you learn in surah fatiha so like before eating you will say bismillah before uh, entering the car or before cooking food whatever you do in daily life before doing anything you will say bismillah then there is one this, let me make it the point number 2 the first thing that you learn in surah fatiha before starting or recitation say auzubillah in arabic it will not work auzubillah so before starting uh, quran recitation we say auzubillah this is the first thing we learn here in this surah fatiha and then second thing is this then the third thing the third thing that you learn in this surah is this that before making dua we praise or you praise before making dua praise allah subhanahu wa taala this is the third thing that you have learned that before making dua praise allah subhanahu wa taala in quran and hadith there are many ways are uh, written in which we can praise allah before making dua one of them is written in this surah it starts from this word alhamdulillah and it finishes here or you can also include this one iya kana do iya kana stain so you can say that before making dua we praise allah and there are many methods many ways in which you can praise allah before making dua one of them is written here so there are many written in quran and hadith so one of them is written here which starts from alhamdulillah and it finishes at this point okay so this is the third thing that you learn in this surah that before making any dua whether it whether the dua is for this life or whether the dua is for the next life before making any dua you will praise allah almighty So these are the three things that you have learned in this surah. If anyone has any question, you can ask me. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ask me your tafsir one more time, Surah Fatiha. Sorry, what is your question? I'm asking if you could uh, a tafsir to to explain one more time the, the meaning of Fatiha from Alhamdulillah till wa al-dhal. Okay. Uh, were you present in the yesterday class when I was telling all these things? Yes, I was. Okay. Did anyone uh, memorize this uh, word by word meaning of Surah Fatiha? Any student? Miss Mishka is saying that she has memorized. Okay, Miss Mishka, read it. 
and Mr. Muhammad Sam Usman Balo uh, listen to her and after that if you have any question you can ask me so Ms. Mishka okay. you can start now sir word by word meaning yeah translation word by word meaning first first sir, tell me the word by word meaning of each aya then uh, tell me the complete translation of each aya also oh okay sir Start. Here B is showing the word with and Bismillah and Allah means showing we start with the name of Allah and Ar Rahman the word by word meaning no need to tell me the interpretation first what is the meaning of b with with what is ism ism hmm. name name ism mean name okay like this next a name uh, next is ar rahman which only we use for allah taala because alif lam is only specific for the allah taala the Wait, next not, word is not like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I will open it. Now I will open it and you will read it. Okay, tell me the meaning of B. What is the meaning of B? With. With. For next. Isam is name. Hmm? Isam is name. Next. Rahman means merciful. Beneficent. Beneficent. And Ar Rahman. Ar Rahman, the most beneficent. Most beneficent. Next. Rahim means merciful. Merciful. Next. And Ar Rahim means the most merciful. Most merciful. Then what is the meaning of this? Uh, start with the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Hmm. With the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Next, what is that? Ham min praise. Al ham min the praise. All praises. All praises. And the uh, lam is. Li. Li lam mean, is belongs to. Belongs. Li means belongs to hmm. or for. Then. Allah means Allah. For Allah. Allah. Belongs to Allah. For Allah. And Rab means Lord. Good. Next is Alam. Alam mean universe. World. Alam mean world. W O R L D. World. Yes. And Alam mean mean whole universe. The whole universe. What is the meaning of this? All praises is due uh, is for Allah, the Lord of all the universe. Next. Malik mean king. Okay. And Yaw mean day. Mm. And uh, Adin mean the recompense. Recompense. The day of Yama. The king of day of Maliki Maliki Amidin, the king of the day of recompense. Mr. Jubil is asking me to send him the document. This document is available in Google Classroom. The name of class is Al Quran Al Kareem and the homework number one. Mr. Jubil, when you will open homework number one, there you will find a document. This document that you are asking, okay. Next is what is meaning of Iyaka? 
पिया का only you या फिर you alone okay and noon means with no we we w e we and not would do mean uh, we worship we worship okay and wow mean and mm -hmm. and astain means we ask help okay Then, uh, only you we worship and only you we ask help. Okay. Then, it, it has means guide. Guide. And now means us. Hmm. And Idina means Idina means guide us. Hmm. And Asirat means the path. Yes. And Al Mustaqim means the straight. Hmm. And Idina Sirat Al Mustaqim means guide us to the straight path. Then Al Nadina means path. Of those. Al -Nazina, those who. Ha, those. Those, those who. who. Then. Ta Ta mean you. Ta. You, okay. And an amta uh, you bestowed upon or you blessed. Mm, an amta you bestowed upon, okay. You bestowed. And, Anamta, uh, you bestowed only. Then Allah. Uh, Allah means on. Whom? On. Whom, or it also mean upon. And then. Whom mean those? Whom mean they or them, okay? Okay. Allah him upon, upon them. Okay. And Gair mean. Uh, and not not or not, not. and maghdub and maghdub mean uh, uh, anger the one anger. who receives the anger okay maghdub mean okay. the one who receives the anger okay. of someone okay. and a ball in mean uh, astray, the astray. Path of astray those who are astray okay then uh, uh, and guide us to no, no, path the path of, of those, those the path of the path of those whom you bestowed upon uh, no not not of those who you who receive your anger and who are astray okay. if anyone has any question they can ask me So this question, what did you learn from Surya Fatiha? Answer is here. You learn these things from Surya Fatiha. You will write these three things in that part. Anybody, any question? So you don't have any questions so we were on arabic sentences let me check how much time is this arabic sentence, arabic sentence. bismillah rahman rahim and that's the sixth lesson the Arabic sentence Jumla Tul Arabiya. I think I better restart the meeting. You all join the meeting again using the same link that I have sent in the group already. So join the meeting again. Okay.